Some of the men who've come to our undercover houses over the years have come up with some pretty imaginative reasons for being there. I'm looking for work. I do black tops on. Uh, I'm just driving around trying to learn Georgia again. And this next man's excuse for showing up at our house in Long Beach, California, also ranks way up there because he tells us he's come for educational reasons. Our encounter begins online when 29-year-old college student Farzad Kalantari thinks he's been chatting with a 12-year-old girl. It sure doesn't sound like he's talking about schoolwork. The decoy writes, what do you want to do when we meet? At first he says talk, but then he tells her they would have sex. Do you have any condom, he asks. The decoy says no. Then Kalantari writes, I must go shopping. Want to get a drink? Now he's in the undercover house introducing himself to the decoy. Nice to meet you. Hi. I really like Hi, you. nice to meet you. How are you? Fine. Good. Please have a seat right over there. Okay. How old is the girl you were coming to see? It's 14. 14? Yeah. That's not what she told you on the internet, though. You said 14. She says right here 12. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, younger than say. Younger than you said. That's when he tells us now, he's not here for sex. He's here to help her get ahead in school. You need a study. You need a good education. You came here to tell her that she should yes. be studying. Yes. Really? Yeah. But you also seem to indicate in this chat that the education you wanted to give her was sex education. No. No? Did you forget what you talked about? Only once that I could see in this transcript did you talk about the importance of education. No, and I virtually didn't. everything else talks about taking a shower with her, having sex with her. <laughs> my d and you. That's what you say. Okay, That's what you say English you want to do. My English is not good. You know, as now I speak with you, I'm, I'm Austria, people. I'm sorry? I'm born in Austria. In I'm, Austria? Yeah, I'm not English. is perfect. But that's a pretty universal language right there. Okay. Blank my blank and blank you. That's English. You know what that means? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So why would you say that to a 12-year-old girl? My mistake, but I don't like this. Your mistake. Do. Colin Tari tells me this is the first time he's had a chat with an underage girl. But I point out to him that according to Perverted Justice, he had a sexually charged chat less than two weeks earlier with a decoy who said she was under 14 years old. Only just chatting. All right, but see, here's the thing. What you said just a minute ago is not what you're saying now. Do you have a condom with you? No. You don't? Do you have it in your car? No. You want to check my car? I didn't say that. I'm just asking you, did no, you bring no, condoms? No, no, no. Then why did you ask her if she had condoms there? Okay, only ask. Well, here is what you need to know. Okay. All right. I'm Chris Hansen. This police? I'm not police. I'm with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story oh. on people who try to meet underaged boys and girls online for sex. So if there's anything else you'd like to tell us, so you're free oh, to walk out that door. No, no. Colin Tari says goodbye to us and hello to the Long Beach police. At the processing center, Colin Tari is distraught. Maybe she might say. Maybe. And remember what he told us? You have a condom with you? No. You don't? Do you have it in your car? No. Three condoms. Police find condoms in his pockets. 